Let's create a week of content. So my content creation workflow is something that I have tried to establish over the years. And my workflow consists of posting every single day for like a week or two and then falling off and then getting back on creating content, posting it consistently and then falling off. And that's just who I am. And I've tried so many times in terms of like posting every single day, multiple times a day across multiple channels. And sometimes life just gets in the way, okay? We have stuff going on, we can't maintain certain things. And half the time it's truly like I'm my own block. Like I have stuff edited in CapCut that can get posted. I have clips in my camera roll that can get posted. It's just a matter of consolidating it all, realizing what's going up when, and just posting it. I'm going to divide this video into three parts. Number one, planning. Number two, creating and number three, scheduling. First up is planning your content. Now, as somebody who's constantly posting stuff like on and off, I already know what I wanna post because as a content creator, my brand, like who I am as a person, falls into a few categories. So multi-passionate creative, freelance entrepreneur, um, and then just general lifestyle content. So iced coffee, crocheting, hobbies. And so that's kind of where everything's gonna fall under. And those can be really broad in themselves, like crocheting really could be any kind of crocheting, whatever projects I'm doing. Um, multi-passionate creative can be how I spend my time, like being productive as a multi-passionate creative, how I plan my days. Like there are a lot of things you can do under those umbrellas. And I already know those umbrellas. So I know what I want to create and I call those my content topics. And so since I already know my content topics, I don't really have to do much with that. If you're brand new and you don't really have much going like on social media yet, or you just wanted to start out, figure out your content topics. These will change as you as a person grow and maybe as your business or maybe your branding grows, that's okay. But just get started, pick two or three content topics and then stick with them for as long as you can. And then if things change, like your life changes and you want to, add something else in, take something else out, do that. Next, when it comes to planning is what are you physically creating? So for Instagram, like for the rest of this week, I'm gonna put up two reels and two carousels. So that's only four posts, okay? That's a week of content for me. Your week of content might be seven. Your week of content might be two posts. For me, we're just going with four because that's what I can manage right now. So now that I know that I, I want two reels and two carousels, I know exactly what I wanna post, then we move into our next step, which is creating. Now, this is where I said that it was gonna get messy because I have all of my clips on my phone, but then sometimes when my phone gets full, I have to like airdrop everything on my phone to my computer. So sometimes some of the clips I need are on my computer and then I have CapCut on my cell phone, but I also have CapCut on my Mac. And so sometimes clips are in two different areas and I know it's not seamless, it's not perfect, it's not pretty, but that's kind of the whole point of this. You can create content, you don't have to have like this perfect seamless, beautiful system. This is the system that works for me. It's just what I use really. So creating content. Um, number one, I go into my, my Instagram drafts and it's like, okay, hey, what's in here that I've already done. I've just been too chicken shoot actually post. So I have two reels ready to go. I just have to write the captions, um, and cover photos. So my two reels for the week are done because I already had them made what two weeks ago and I just didn't post them. Like, why didn't I post them? benefits me now, but I could have had content up last week when I ghosted my social media accounts. So creating these content, I'm gonna go in, so I write my captions and then I'll go into Canva. And so I have a, an aesthetic Instagram feed. I, for some reason, since Instagram started, my brain cannot get out of just posting whatever, whenever. Like I physically can't do it. I want my grid to be a tile feed and I've just started doing like this pattern where my cover photo or my the images have kind of like a dark filter on it and so i have to go i screenshot my reel for like whatever i want then i airdrop it onto my mac put it into canva and then i edit it in canva i airdrop it back to myself on my phone and then i put the cover photo in so that is one reel done i just have to push post and i actually did that today that is up and live so next when it comes to creating content is figuring out my pattern. So I have a tile pattern, which as you can see is like a quote and then an image and then like tips. So I usually do like two of this, three, 
three ways to do this, five ways to do this, two reasons you are. And so I obviously have my pattern, so I know what has to go up when. Now I just have to kind of figure out what I want these to say. Usually for quotes, I'll go on Pinterest and just be like, inspirational quotes, see what jumps out at me. Sometimes it's like my own thoughts that I come up with while I'm writing or journaling that I will put in some of these. Because truly what I want to accomplish is one, sharing my life, my wants, my wishes and dreams. But truthfully, like the bottom line is to motivate you as a multi-passionate creative woman to take a chance on yourself, be the creative human being you want to be and just go for it. And so that's where my motivational content kind of comes from is just like, I hope one person reads it and is like, you know what? I get to be me. I get to be me. I get to strive for my goals. And honestly, if that is what happens out of this video, out of that post, amazing. So now that I have, now that I'm in Canva and I kind of, so I do this. So I go in Canva. Now I have a massive design folder for, I usually start this and then I'll, I'll move into a new folder when it gets too messy because I think you can only have to have up to 100 um, designs in a Canva folder. So I'm at like 70 something in this one. So I'll have to move into a new one. But I basically just play around with what I've previously posted. And the thing that a lot of people don't realize when it comes to content creation, repetition, okay? So some of the photos that I've posted in carousels that are not like the first one on the grid, I will post again. It's a cute photo. I took it weeks ago. I'm gonna use it multiple times. And you know what? If one person goes on to like my, like three months down my Instagram, finds that photo and is like, you posted this already. That's on them. <laughs> That's not on me. It's a cute photo. I want as many people to see it as possible. So use the stuff you already have. It does not have to be like brand new content every single day, super thought out. Use what you have in the time frame that you are able to create content in. So once I know my pattern, so obviously I have my reel, then I have a carousel, I have a reel, I have a quote, I have another reel, and then I have a like five tips. So my five tips, I'm taking this from my last YouTube video. So my last YouTube video was five ways to change your life as a multi-passionate creative. And so I'm using that as one of my Instagram posts, because if you are posting on multiple platforms, your audience is not going to see absolutely every single thing you post on the internet. So repurpose what you already have. That will benefit you in the long run so much, like so much. I cannot stress enough how to like just repurpose, repurpose, repurpose. Okay. So now that I have all of my Canva graphics done and I have my reels, done. The next part of creating is making sure my captions and hashtags are done. This I usually do in Canva. So as I'm creating, I'll write my captions if I know it. So I am very much a go with the flow type of content creator where if I have an idea in my head, I'm going to go do it. But I, I also want to finish pieces of content. One of the things that I've always struggled with is like starting an idea, but then never having anything complete. So I might have like six reels that are sort of filmed, but they're not edited. They're not no captions. They don't have text on the screen. Like they're just started. And so what I have strived to do is cut back on the amount of content I create, but make sure I complete each individual individual piece of content instead. So the, na the last step in your content creation process, or at least what I do is scheduling. So I personally use Metrical. It is free for one account and you get up to 50 posts a month. I do not post on Instagram 50 times because like I said, my content creation cycle is like post for two weeks, fall off, post for two weeks, fall off. We are trying to change that. Um, I am trying to like at least schedule out like one post a week in advance and then slowly trickle stuff in. That hasn't really happened yet. And I know we're going into October and fall. So I, I love this time of year. I'm a Scorpio, so <laughs> it's my season. I am so excited for fall. Like leaves are already changing. The weather is getting cooler. And so I'm just gonna be excited to create content more so now that it's coming into fall. So we will definitely get content up a bit more. But back to scheduling. So I use Metrical and it is really straightforward, guys. Every single social media like scheduler is basically the same, but you go in, you hit add a post. And then what I love about Metrical is that it kind of shows you the best times to post on your account. So it has like the gradient. So the really dark pink is like the most 
is the best time to post because that's when your audience is most active. So I just go by that. Like I'm not too worried about like schedule, like the time I post stuff, just as long as I have one, a piece of content going up and two, I like that piece of content. And so we go in and then all I have to do is upload my carousel photos and then copy and paste my captions. And I think that this saves me so much time because when I'm in the flow of content creating and I have a caption already started, I will type it in the notes section on Canva, like I said, so that all I have to do when I'm scheduling is copy and paste, add in my hashtags, which Metricool, love you, saves the hashtags that you've previously used. So obviously that you can go onto Instagram and find more hashtags that my hashtag strategy as of right now is to kind of really focus on the words that I'm using either in the reel or um, that I've typed in my caption or that I've typed on screen. And those are how my hashtags are going to, are gonna focus around. And then if that gets me like 10 hashtags or 30 hashtags, I don't really care about the number. I'm just kind of trying to keep it within like the relevancy of the content that I'm posting so that I don't have to waste too much time on trying to figure out my, my hashtags. But once you have, once I copy paste the caption, add in my hashtags that are kind of already in Metricool, I push save and it is now scheduled. And now I have my other um, quotes scheduled, but what do I do about my Instagram reels that are, that are done? They're in my drafts, but they're, I can't schedule them like, because you have to edit them within the app, then downloading them from Instagram, uploading them into a scheduler doesn't make sense. Like that just seems like a waste of time to me. So this is where I fall short. Sometimes I will have a completed piece of content an Instagram reel saved. I could do, and I don't push post. Why? because I just don't think of it or I don't do it or it becomes like 4 p.m. and I'm like, well, I can't post at 4 p.m. I need to post at 9 a.m. And so what I do is I set an alarm on my phone for the morning that I wanna post and I push post because that's all that's left. That is literally the only thing I need to do. Cover photos in, captions done, hashtags done, videos done, texts done. All I gotta do is push post. And now I have four pieces of content ready to go for the rest of this week. And I also have a few other ideas going into next week. They're not done yet, they're started, but this is a super like simple, I took you along with kind of like my chaotic process of creating content for Instagram. The other thing too that you can do is so much, before I start adding any audio or text um, on the screen of my reels, I'll download the file so that I can post it to TikTok or YouTube shorts so that I can cross promote and then I have content ready for multiple platforms. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, so I like the ref, last few days, I've just been really chatty. Like I've just like opened the screen and just like talked about the random stuff that comes to my mind. And I've been posting those. And I think that sometimes we get lost in the, what is a good piece of content to create instead of just like, talking and if you're a lifestyle content creator or maybe you're a business owner really just getting comfortable on camera can take a while and then sometimes i get in my own head being like well you're just stupid why are you making content like stop making content but i don't want to stop making content i love making content like planning creating and like filming this youtube video like i enjoy this process which is why i do it which is why i always come back to it because i love it so if you have any content creation tips drop them down below if you have any hacks things you want to share, I would love to know in the comments. This is everything that I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed this, please hit like. If you want to see more from me every single week, hit subscribe. I post every Thursday and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.